Hello, let us have a look at question 4. State the conditions under which hydrochloric acid reacts with magnesium to produce hydrogen. So, usually whenever acids react with metals that, that are above hydrogen in our reactivity series, hydrogen will tend to be produced. However, in this case, this is quite challenging because our magnesium can produce hydrogen no matter the state of the acid. However, in this case, we shall prefer a dilute version of the acid. So, we shall always produce hydrogen with magnesium using dilute hydrochloric acid because concentrated is likely to be highly reactive. So, we prefer using the acid in dilute state. Write the ionic equation for the reaction in A above. So, they want us to write ionic equation. So, we have to first come up with the overall equation where we have our hydrochloric acid. So, we have hydrochloric acid reacting with our magnesium to produce our magnesium chloride, the salt, which is obviously soluble in water, plus our hydrogen gas. So, all we have to do is to be able to separate the possible ions present so we shall have the following ions present in solution here we shall have our magnesium this is a solid this is aqueous so we shall have our magnesium in solid state plus on the right hand side we shall have because our salt has dissolved in water we shall have the magnesium ions present together with the chloride ions present two of them to produce our hydrogen gas it is no longer in ionic form so we shall have a gas so we shall have to cancel out the spectator ions and in this case the two chloride ions are both on the left and the right so we shall remain with magnesium which is a solid that means to react with two hydrogen ions which is aqueous to produce our magnesium ions in solution together with hydrogen gas. This will be the ionic equation for that given reaction. Note the charges are the same. Left hand side we have a 2 plus and right hand side we have a 2 plus. This becomes the ionic equation for our reaction in A above. You can pause the video and try to analyze the steps I've taken so as to come up with the equation. Most importantly, change in states helps us to come up with this ionic equation. A dry sample of hydrogen was burnt in air. Write the equation for the reaction that took place. Obviously, hydrogen in air, it will react with the active part of air, which is oxygen, to produce our water, which may be in form of steam or even in form of liquid. So this is the equation, as long as you balance it, hydrogen reacts with oxygen to produce water. Obviously, in this case, a half of the mark or a half of the marks will come from the state symbols. You have to also write state symbols and balance the equation. Roman 2 state how the product in B Roman 1 can be tested. So the product in this Roman 1 is water. How do we test for water? So there are two cases. We can use an hydrous copper to sulfate, which is usually white. And when you add water to it, it will become blue. So by using an hydrous copper to sulfate, which turns from white to blue, that's one way of testing for our water. Or we can use an hydrous cobalt to chloride and it will turn from blue to pink. Hope these are the right colors. This is our pink. This is our blue. So these are two ways you can test for water by adding a few drops of water onto our anhydrous copper to sulfate. It will turn from white to blue and the, and the reverse is also correct. Our anhydrous cobalt to chloride will turn from blue to pink. In some cases, they use cobalt chloride paper, which does the same thing as long as it turns color or it changes color. Lastly, state one large scale use of hydrogen. So here you can name as many as possible, but one simple one is the manufacture of ammonia 
through the Haber process whereby we tend to react our nitrogen with hydrogen gas to produce our ammonia as long as we use the right conditions of temperature, pressure and catalysts. So you have to balance this equation for the Haber process. Manufacture of ammonia to manufacture of margarine or basically we tend to produce fats. Manufacture of fats. You can say manufacture of fats. When we hydrogenate vegetable oils, we tend to produce fats. So manufacture of this margarine is one way of in which hydrogen is used. So when you bubble hydrogen through veg vegetable oils, they will tend to solidify to form our fats. Let me know in the comment section which other uses of hydrogen you know about. Some of them are kind of essential even in space. So let me know in the comment any other uses of hydrogen on a large scale. This is specific on a large scale. Thanks for watching. Stay safe.